Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And um, today we're going to be doing something different than usual. <coughs> Not really gaming. Um, we're going to be doing a breakdown of the uh, trailer of Camp Cretaceous Season 3. So, yeah, there's a lot that we need to talk about here. So, yeah. <clears throat> Let's start. <laughs> Goodbye, Jerry. And um, I tried to search for a drawing tool that I could use to um, draw on the videos, but there was nothing except for the free Windows thing, so that's what I'm using. <laughs> Goodbye. So At Jurassic World. A boat here, a raft that they've constructed of materials that they found on the island. Like, there's a chair there, some bamboo, uh, spare, probably some cloth, something that can float like a cooler. And they've just, yeah, they're exiting. That's the monorail right there. So, yeah, they're just leaving. Bye, Jurassic World. No! Um, guys! And, uh, here, they, I'll just delete all of this. There we go. And, um, there's a big wave. And it comes, and it seems like there's a storm coming. So as you can see, there's a big wave. No! Um, guys! A massive wave. Um, this. So I'm assuming there's a big storm coming, and um, so it's not a good time to try and escape. Um. Their thingy goes away. They're distressed. It wasn't a. Well, we've got some brackies here. And the brackies aren't the main focus, so I'll just. Nope. It's the clouds. See? A big storm. Not really normal. It's a big tropical storm coming, and there were some extra scenes that I didn't uh, manage to include here with some stegosauruses and some um, other dinosaurs, and they're all just in this cloudy weather, so... TOTAL DISASTER! How is that- And then, you know, they sing like it's not a total disaster, they're going back, they're all like, sad, angry, they failed, so... NOT A DISASTER! THINK! WHAT HAPPENED? crossing out things and here we see a burning helicopter we see like a tally chart here five to one i don't know what that could mean we have a game of tic-tac-toe down there um but this is a helicopter and that looks like fire so they had, maybe they're gonna try to escape using a burning helicopter Use that as a distraction, or maybe this is after they find out about E750. There's going to be spoilers in this, the Scorpius Rex, and they are trying to find a way to get it. I think there's some more. I'm just gonna clear this out. There's um, what seems to be an underwater gyrosphere. That looks like a boat. I don't know what that is. Kind of looks like a washing machine. That also looks like a burning helicopter. There, I think that might be the one that they crossed out. This is some more gyrospheres underwater, or gyrospheres burning, but that looks like fish. So yeah. Then there's people running with pteranodons there, which are um, similar type dimorphodons, and that's gonna be important. So we'll just- What haven't we tried yet? There's gotta be a fix. Every problem always has a fix. Them walking in vents. Everybody spread the out! Old uh, visitor center. Oh, we're just gonna go back a bit. They're in the old visitor center. Doesn't really do much. They're just spreading out, looking around. Everybody spread out! We shouldn't be here. So, this. Uh, wait, let's uh. Everyone knows this place is haunted. So. This is a new dinosaur. We've never seen anything with this crest or with this body shape ever before. And 
most people think that it's a monolophosaurus, and that's what I agree with, of course. Um, some are saying it's a proceratosaurus, but I feel like it's a lot less, like it would be a lot more skinny. It's a lot smaller, judging by the size here, and the crest is different. So, about the monolophosaurus, Jurassic World Alive already has one, and I think all the Ludia games do. But Jurassic World Evolution doesn't, so I'm hoping that they'll add this, along with E750. So, and also we can tell this is a pretty nice, but run-down place, because of that, those nice lamps, these really nice pillars. So, if we go back and we just listen in... We shouldn't be here. Shouldn't Everyone knows this place is hot. So, Kenji says, we shouldn't be here. This place is haunted, and we know that Kenji's rich. We know his dad has a manor on the island. This could be his manor. My only question is, is why would he be saying his own place is haunted if it literally just... Maybe it's an abandoned one? Maybe it's like a... Like his abandoned house that got... Like, um, they escaped, and... Yeah, so I'm not too sure about that. Oh, no, no, never mind. <laughs> Bro, no. Um, so, yeah, that's about... What do we do? So, that, they're saying it, this place is haunted, everybody knows we shouldn't be here. That kind of makes me think it's not his manner. No place is haunted. Still, um, what do we do now? They all look at him, and they say, what do we do now? He's also got a beard and a mustache, but, um, they say, what do we do now? Uh, he says that, and everybody looks at him. So I think it's his manor, but then the background kind of looks like a, there's vines there. Maybe it's the visitor center. I'm not sure. And remember, they can combine clips to make it very, um, exaggerated. That then Brooklyn or Sammy, they're walking in this lab looking area. E750. They find this plate that says E750 on the ground. Scratch marks everywhere. That's the casual for this kind of scary stuff. But she says it in a softer voice. So she, I think, feel like she knows what um, E750 is. And we're going to talk a bit more about. <laughs> and then they find this computer. We got Wu chilling, I guess. He's making a log, so we'll listen. It's clearly a computer that they're not supposed to be on. There's definitely some, you know, weird files here. And they all have, uh, like a letter. And then what seems to be three, two, or maybe more numbers, but E, we're just going to make a new one, E, seven, 50 maybe but i don't think so because e750 doesn't have the dash there anyways we should probably listen to what he says so let's just listen in. this is log entry 239 and i feel like they're in this lab because it has those whiteboards in the background and all those genetic stuff but that's not really important it's the e750 project is extremely aggressive so as he said it's a very aggressive project that he's working on. And I feel like he sort of looks like he's regretting doing it. Like you look at like the way he's moving and yeah. So yeah. So he's kind of regretting it, you know, he's making it. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna talk a bit more about that too after. There's a big thing I have to talk about. Extremely aggressive. First do we know that? And we're just getting another shot of the pipes, you know, because, like, you know, it's escaping now. In the lab, Dr. Wu was using to make the Indominus Rex. If you think the Indominus was bad... We can't wait any longer. So, as she said, like, this is the lab that they worked on with the Indominus here. So, this is a lab. I don't know what that is. That looks like a train. So, yeah. Um, but... As you can see, the, the can If you think the Indominus was bad... So she, she thought the Indominus was bad. Let's just replay this. What is that? 
You see, I don't know, like. What, what, what is he being attacked by? Is it the Scorpius Rex? Or did he make this on purpose? Or what is happening? Because we know he's alive. Because, well, um, in Dominion, we, we've seen pictures of Wu. So, yeah, so, I don't know. It seems like there's something artificial here. We can't wait any longer. But we have to leave the island now. So they're telling Darius that they have to leave the island now so yeah and it seems like they've just seen e750 so Ow. this is interesting that that is a very familiar raptor we see here <sighs> i can't get it but uh, that's blue as you can tell with the blue stripes and all now, I'm personally a big fan of blue being like kind of like chill. Uh, that looks like a Nerf gun. Not gonna lie, there's Darius. Basically, they're in a truck, and yeah, blue's sort of becoming an angry blue, probably because the kids aren't really Owen, and he's only really respective to Owen. So, yeah, that's interesting. Seems like he's gonna play a more antagonistic role, but I feel like later on in the season when they're start getting like attacked by the scorpius rex e750 blue's gonna help yeah. let me see yeah I was gonna get rid of this river what we can't wait any what? longer no we, we, we passed that already yeah. I'm gonna this river and she's got something in her hand not sure what we'll find that out later on she gets like she falls down or she gets pulled down again. then two people are on this glider here with dimorphodons chasing them and they're flying it i don't know what they're doing there but chaos breaks free um at the rundown camp i think it is and so I think we set that up so that or first another call of it and it I don't see it and then at the very end so it seems like it just turns around and look there's that empty space up at the top of that log and near the end the camera just barely starts to go up there's all that empty space so maybe e750 is up there the little, and then it's gonna pounce down then listen <laughs> darius screaming so yeah that's interesting this is an interesting part Another look at its face, and this is just proof that it's not brown. From the um, we got the spikes on its back. You can see those sp spikes, and, and it's got this really orange. Looks pretty terrifying. So now we're gonna sort of talk a bit more about it. And I know that there's a Gallimimus part somewhere where they. Gallimimus are flocking that's also not in this but in that the weather was a bit darker so yeah that could also just be another storm thing and so what i think the order of events are is that these guys are sneaking around and they find this log and they find out that it's very aggressive and they probably learn some more too um so yeah and then they're like we have to leave the island immediately so then they make the raft and then it becomes a very stormy day and then there's all the storms and then then that night i don't know about the rest of the events like this 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 too i i like but oh no i know what this is like this is before that that's what i think at least and then these are just other events some 
earlier on, I think. And then this, so I think after they come back from the island and it's stormy, this is what happens. This is happening. And then I think either before this or somewhat after this, that teaser trailer thing happens. I didn't do breakdown on that, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, it could be that thing where the lightning strikes and stuff. So, yeah, there's all of this stuff. And E750, yeah, I'm excited to see what it looks like. Uh, we get that shot of it. And the Dimorphodons, this is pretty interesting. Um, that they're just flying there with the Dimorphodons. And if we go back to... Oh, wrong thing. If we go back to where they were crossing out things, it's just where they were crossing out all those ideas. We don't know really what they are. Ah, here. Not here. Here. What is that? It really looks like there's a pteranodon of some sort. Is there a glider there too? Maybe there's a glider. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. And I don't know what the gyrospheres underwater. Some people thought they were gyrospheres on fire, but that looks like seaweed and that looks like a fish. So no, it's not underwater. But there's something interesting um, about this. So let's go back to where Brooklyn and uh, Sammy are in. How Dr. Blue was using to make the end to her. What are we doing? Here. Fifteen. Seven fifteen. She says it. She know. I feel like she knows what it is. And do you remember that she was a spy for Manta? Uh, Manta Corp. So, yeah. Um. So yeah. There's clearly a a connection between the two. Um. There's uh between Manta Corp and E seven fifty, and. The name of um, the company, of the name of the company, Manta Corp. Kind of sounds like a manta, like a manta ray, or, um, a manta ray. Is that what it's called? I forget now. A stingray or manta ray? Yeah, manta ray. Um, but Manta Corp. Kind of sounds like Manta Corp, which is kind of like this creature in Persian mythology, and it's kind of like a thing it's like a hybrid thingy but it's got poisonous quills or spines on its tail that is really bad drawing um it's got poisonous quills and spines on its back and then so it's got these we'll just make a tail it's got these spines that are venomous and then we've got this guy here who is a scorpius rex and Many think that it has sp poisonous spines on its tail due to Scorpius, the name, and like p toys and stuff. And I don't think that's a coincidence that the two are related like that. Um, there's definitely going to be a big connection. And I think uh, Manta probably asked Wu to create this monster here. And that's well, like we know that Wu was making this uh he was doing things behind his back he was making the weapons for war warfare he was doing things to the indominus or maybe he wasn't never mind but he was doing things behind Mizrani's back so he's definitely not fully loyal to Injun. um and he could have been working for the rival company which could be biosyn or it could be manticore but Manticorp is a lot more frequent in uh, this, in this, um, and it, uh, E750, or the Scorpius Wreck, attacks Wu, or so we think, I, I'm kind of thinking that it may have just been a fake, but I think that if he was attacked, he was bad, injured in a way, he would have been fine after a while, um, he puts the project in ice. He puts it in that ice container. And he forgets about it. And he's like, no. And I also think E750 is a 
prototype of the Indoraptor. It's like the first dart of the Indoraptor. But, yeah, that's different. Um, and I think Manta wants the the uh, Scorpius Rex for themselves. And they don't know where it's being stored. So that's when they send Sammy in. Um, so then they s- send Sammy in to go spy on it. And in, that's how, like, in season one, she's spying. So, yeah. And then I think after the kids, they send the beacon um, in season two. Um, I think some Manticore people are going to come to the island to come claim the hybrid. Because um, cause Sammy didn't come back from this Camp Cretaceous. And she can never tell the information. And they're going to just silence the campers because they know a lot about their secrets. And that's about all, I think. Yeah, um, this is going to be a good season. And I'm really hoping that Jurassic World Evolution adds the mono here, the monolophosaurus. Because it looks absolutely amazing. I know we have a monolophosaurus mod. But I mean, official's kind of better, so, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, here's them getting attacked. I didn't really include this, but we're definitely going to see the Dimorphodons attacking. That's going to be a big part. But anyways, be sure to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more content. And we are probably going to do a discussion about Season 3. We didn't do one about Season 2, but we probably do one about season three. But we probably won't do a watch party just for reasons. Uh, it's kind of annoying. And yeah, you can just see that they're all hiding. So I'm kind of just going back and looking through. Anyways, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.